Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's OGC here. Welcome to today's video. Today, we are going to be looking at three brand new items that have reached the black market. Uh, these items you can actually purchase uh, by participating in, in events and getting uh, challenge medals. So it doesn't matter what level you are or if you just started the game, you are going to accrue uh, points so that you can actually get these items. Now, these items are actually pretty powerful. So let's jump on in in order to access it. Uh, right down here on the screen we just click that thing with the red dot and then we hit the skills tab under the skills tab we just go to the private deal if you don't have a lifetime patreon or what whatever gives this uh, just go to your black market near your void and you will be able to access it we'll hit use and then the tab all the way down here on the bottom will open up and we can see the new items so there are three brand new ones, uh, but just for a quick recap, we have uh, the eye, and what the eye does is it gives a uh, bonus attack range. Realistically, this isn't really a, a big one to go for. Uh, the next one is we have Sacred Grail. So Sacred Grail, when it's flawless, actually has amazing stats. Uh, so if you are a new player and you're going for stats, uh, that is always an option. And then we have the Dragon Skull, which uh, would have been broken before they fixed it. Now it's just, uh, yeah. Mine's collecting dust, it doesn't really do much. But we have three brand new ones. So this first one is Feathered Cap. So the Feathered Cap, it gives might and magic. It will be interesting to see the flawless stats for all of these. And what this does is the hero itself gains a shield uh, worth 10% of the wearer's uh, max health, or the wearer's health, every 12 seconds. The shield can stack, and while the shield persists, physical damage dealt by the wearer is increased by 10%. So this right here, uh, if you're doing PvE or say you're farming walls or for the void, this could be really good because you're pretty much just going to get a straight up 10% bonus uh, to uh, attack for, for your hero. So this would be like really good on things like uh, possibly a Nora if you can fit it in for the, uh, for the, for the headpiece, which you absolutely should be able to. Uh, this is going to be really big for uh, Jax. Anything that deals, um, deals damage, I mean, you're going to have 10% more. When this comes to PvP though, I think this is pretty wild. So uh, because this is a headpiece, you can still wear the Drake set. Um, and just just as, as an example for a skill build, we could take uh, Belrog. Uh, because Belrog getting a shield worth 10% of his health is massive. So you could put this for the headpiece. You could have the three-piece Drake because that's two accessories plus a weapon. And then you could go with a Snakethorn armor and a Teutonic Axe and have a pretty ridiculous Belrog. Same is true for Bane, etc. So uh, this is a awesome, awesome gear. I'm looking forward to getting some of these. Um, I'm going to get a bunch of these. Uh, probably uh, three of them total, and I'm thinking right now. Just because, again, everything outside of PvP, this is going to offer a bunch of extra damage. When it comes to actual PvP, I think the shield is going to be just as important, if not more, than the actual uh, bonus to the attack. Because things will take damage just from Ophidius or from Dragons or anything random like that. So, uh, I think that this is going to be a really cool uh, headpiece. It also gives a ton of magic, uh, and I think magic is just an awesome set. So... Overall, I think this is a awesome new item, uh, definitely worth considering. This is the feathered cap. The next one that we're going to look at is the eye. Um, so the eye, oh my god, this one, uh, this one I want. Uh, I'm thinking three to four of. So this offers uh, magic and command. The hero bonus. So the first time that the wearer casts an active ability, uh, so. Per hero, it only triggers once, and it's the first time you cast an ability. So if you have Avril, it's only going to trigger on the first time that you do any Avril skill, etc. Uh, anyways, when you cast that skill, all friendly troops, all of them, gain 10% bonus attack and 5% bonus accuracy. Uh, bonuses are doubled for heroes. So that is 20% bonus uh, attack for your heroes. That's 10% bonus accuracy for your heroes. This is massive, guys. This is so huge. Um, if you win in might going up in, against an opponent, you get plus 30% extra damage. All of a sudden, you're throwing on 10% more to your troops and 20% more to your heroes. Guys, this is huge. So definitely recommend getting these. 
what I'm going to, what I'm planning on doing personally, I'm thinking about getting uh, three to four of these. Uh, and the, the, the reason why is, I mean, pretty simply, I want to get this going as long as, as possible. So uh, you can trigger this once per hero, but you can actually use it multiple times in the course of a fight. So say I open up in PvP with Raxius. And for Raxius, I have Mantra Beads and the Eye on him. That means I'll be able to reduce the enemy hero's uh, damage, and I'm also going to be able to boost up all of mine. For the second skill, say it's uh, Gan or Rufio or wh whatever it looks like, I can have another one on them so that when I use my second skill, it triggers. Uh, when I use my third skill, it triggers, etc. So I think that this is huge. I might even put one on Elena, uh, which I'll have to explain in another video. Because it gives really good uh, command, this with her plus one to magic resistance trinket on Elena could be very beneficial. Um, and I think retreat, uh, like like the skill retreat, you, you can instantly proc this whenever you want on Elena as soon as something drops super low. So I think it's, it's good to be able to... Uh, control it on its own separate cooldown. Uh, but that's just what, what I'm going to do because say I have a Mana Worm out there for my Dwarf, um, I, I can always just retreat the Mana Worm when, whenever I want or the, the turtle towards uh, the, the beginning of the fight so I don't give up a Moral Boost. And it should proc this. This right here is absolutely amazing. This is the number one to, to, to go with. Like I, I would pick this one over the other two uh, as far as the new ones uh, to focus on right, right away. In fact, we're going to buy one. Uh, we'll, we'll buy some more soon. Uh, next, we have the uh, Lance. So the Lance is a weapon. Uh, and as far as the weapon goes, uh, the hero at the start of the battle throws a Lance at the enemy ranks, causing enemies to take 10% bonus damage when attacked by a hero or dragon. It lasts for 5 seconds. It cannot sack. So... I don't know for this one yet. Uh, I, I have to see this in game and I haven't seen it yet. It depends on how many uh, how many troops and enemies actually get affected by this lance. If it's a lot of them, say like it's a straight line like Intimidating Show from Rufio, this could be pretty good because right at the start of, of the battle, your Dragon's Black Holes or Cosmic Storms, well, whatever it looks like, is going to do bonus damage. This only affects um, the heroes and dragons, so uh, I think... Because it's also a weapon spot, it's going to be uh, tough to use. Now the stats on it, the stats are phenomenal. So you get uh, uh, you get might, you get command, and you get stamina. The stats on this thing is ridiculous. So not even being flawless. I mean, you're talking about a total of like 27 stats. It's ridiculous. The flawless one is easily 30 plus. So the stats on this thing could be ridiculous. Uh, but as far as the actual active ability. I, I have to see it before I can truly judge it. These other ones, like, like the eye, are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the eye, I'm easily going to go with three or four just because it is so, so massive. So, speaking of that, let's go open ours up and let's see if, uh, if we can get lucky and if we can get a flawless one. So, wish me luck. Hopefully we get a flawless one. And we did! <laughs> what? All right, so we got a flawless one. Uh, and let's go throw that on our Araxius because I think... More often than not, I will end up starting off with Raxius, uh, and yeah, so the first time the Warrior casts an active ability, all friendly troops and stuff, blah, 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 awesome. So now, if we start off the, the battle and we do the Mantra Beads, all of a sudden Raxius is going to reduce the enemy hero's a attack by uh, quite a bit, along with the hero Pred Dragon that's going to cripple the, the enemy's heroes by quite a bit. Also, right at the start, uh, with the eye, all of a sudden, our uh, all of our troops and heroes are going to do way more damage. So I think this is a great one-two punch. Uh, I I'm looking forward to getting a, a bunch more of these. The stats on these are not super amazing. Um, it's a total of 27. Uh, I'm sorry, 25 stats as as a flawless item. So it's super low when it comes to stats. Even if we keep, compare this to the Excalibur, which has 24. I mean, it's it's not the uh, it's not the most ridiculous thing in in the world. Um, I mean, if we compare it to something that is a little bit more common, such as the alethiometer, uh, the alethiometer in total gives uh, thirty stat points, and I think that's like the big stat point boost one. Uh, so, anyways, the eye I think is totally awesome, and I would keep your eye on it. Uh, so that is it for the new items that just came out in the black market. 
definitely go check them out. I highly recommend uh, the eye and the feather cap. Um, I would prioritize the eye over the, the cap unless, uh, unless you're not really worried about PvP. Anyways, guys, with that, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you have not subscribed already, and uh, make sure you go down in the description and check out all of the cool stuff down there, such as the merch store, Patreon page. Big shout out to the Patreons. You guys are the best. Um, Discord is there. Go check it all out, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Have a, have a wonderful day.